Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's that time of the month again, time to talk about all the books I read last month. I know this is actually a pretty small pile. I feel like I just didn't read much last month because I had so much stuff going on with uni. It was kind of hectic, but I want to go through the books I did read, talk about my thoughts, talk about what was good and bad. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I read six books this month, November. I just realized I have them all in the wrong order. Okay, take two. So for my birthday in November, I got this new series, um, Whisper by Lynette Noni. I've read her The Prison Healer series and I was obsessed. So I got this and I read it. It's like a bit dystopian. It's quite good. Um, what I found weird is it's set in Australia. I don't know. Whenever I like read books where like weird stuff is going down and like it's all sort of dystopian, I imagine it's like in America or someplace I'm not familiar with because it seems more normal. Whereas when it's like literally set in Sydney, it kind of weirds me out. But anyway, this first book was so good. I rated it five stars, I think. Um, it's like so much mystery and you really don't know much of anything that's going on. Uh, and it's about this girl, Jane Doe, who's been locked up in this like prison and experimented on for like a year. And she won't tell anyone what her name is. And she's got like a secret that she's keeping. She won't speak to anyone. And like lots of stuff goes down. It's so good. So yeah. Whisper by Lynette Noni. That was a five star read for me. Then of course it was a duology. So I read the second book in the series, which is Weapon. This book was not as good as the first. I felt like it was a bit too fast paced. Like I reckon it would have been better as a trilogy rather than a duology because I feel like at the start we like don't know much going into Whisper and then suddenly everything happens and it was a bit like overwhelming. But it was still good. Definitely still good. Really like this series. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's like a three and a half, four star read, in my opinion. They're both like YA, FYI, but so good. And then the next book I read, I'm honestly a tragic. If you know anything about me, you know I reread Queen of Shadows. This is my favorite book. I read it, honestly, twice a year, probably. Um, it's obsessive. Yeah, this book has been through a lot. It literally has like highlighting notes everywhere um yeah so this is the fourth book or fifth depending on the order you're going in the throne of glass series if you haven't read the throne of glass series it's well worth your time it's my favorite series out and this is my favorite book in that series yeah it's just really good there's so much banter everything's happening it's great and the main characters are just so good so yeah i definitely recommend reading throne of glass if you haven't it's like young adult fantasy but it's really good the series just gets better as you go on i know a lot of people aren't a fan of the first few books i personally love them but the series just gets better and better comment below if you've read this book because you're my bestie then okay and then the next three books i read were all from the same series they are going crazy at the moment and i went and spent my book vouchers on them the inheritance games so good it's just like a really short easy read um i rated this five stars it's like easy read, really comfy. I was addicted. I think I read it in a few days. Um, and it is like a mystery. So it's about this girl, Avery, who just suddenly out of the blue inherits billions. And she's left like a riddle. And her and the four grandchildren of the deceased billionaire who didn't inherit anything are all trying to solve their riddles that they've been given by the dead guy and figure out why Avery inherited all this money. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I loved it so much. I obviously bought the rest of the series. So this is the Hawthorne Legacy second book. And then the final book I read this month was The Final Gambit, which is the third book. This series was amazing. It was just so good, such an easy read. A lot of people are going crazy over it at the moment and I feel like there's a good reason for that. It is such a good series. Um, and I honestly like can't stop thinking about it. And yeah, it's just like a really easy read. It doesn't like, there's not too much thinking, but like there's so much mystery. It's just all mystery and I love it. So yeah, I would recommend that. And handy hint, I got these from QBD books and they were like less than $15 a book. So if you want to go there. But anyway, these are all the books I read uh, in the month of November. It wasn't as many as I would have liked to, but I'm excited to go into the uni holidays now and read so many books 
Um, I've already been doing some decent reading, even though we're only like a couple days into December. But yeah, this is this month's book wrap up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below your book recommendations, your favorite books that you read in the last month, anything. I love to chat books. I'd love to chat in the comments section. And in a couple days, my TBR, like books I want to read in December video will be up. So stay tuned for that. But until then, bye.